So, you want to make a shape key looping motion graphic in Blender. Well, I hope you want to make that because if you want to make a milkshake, that's two videos to the left. Hey guys, I'm about to touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at what I just said. Super simple, super easy. Really like it, this animation. I really enjoy this. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hit delete uh, to delete the default cube. Goodbye, default cube. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to select our camera. Left click that. Hit Alt G and Alt R to clear the location and rotation. Hit R X 90 on our numpad and then left click to confirm that then hit G Y to move the camera backwards like that we're gonna grab our lamp and hit delete on that as well hit zero to go into the camera's view and now we're all set up so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift a and we're gonna search for a plane now this plane is gonna help us out so I'm gonna hit RX 90 to rotate it so we can see it and then left click to confirm that there we go we're gonna go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode hit s to scale everything down just about maybe that big I suppose I'm going to hit S, Z to scale on the Z axis like that. And then we're going to grab this, uh, these two points up here. So I'm going to hold down shift and grab these two edges. Hit E to extrude and then right click to, uh, and, sorry, hit S to, to scale them out. So we're going to scale them out like that and make a little arrow. So there's a little like two things coming out. And then we're going to hit E again to extrude. But this time we're going to hit Z and then move it straight on up like that. Maybe out of the camera's view just so we can get a nice little thing going on here now. So, we're going to hit uh, S, X, and then 0. So now it makes a little point, which is nice, right? So then we left-click that, and now we have a point. But there's an issue because there's two little points here, actually. If I were to zoom in here, these are not connected. You can still separate them. So we're going to make sure we have both of them selected by holding down Shift and just clicking until we can grab both of them. Or the better way is, it, is to hit Z and then wireframe, and then just drag a box over top of both of these right there. You can see... And then over here in, I believe it is, where is it at, in, b -b 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 why can I never remember where this is? It's over here in, actually, look, we can just right click it, hit right click and then hit merge vertices and then at center. So there we go. We just click this now and you can see that this is one, uh, that is, this is one uh, vertice instead of two now. So that's, that's nice. That's good. Now. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and use this to uh, to kind of move everything around. So I want this to be more in the center of this though. So I hit tab to go back into edit mode. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. Tab and then double tap A to make sure everything's selected. And then hit G Z to move it all down so it's kind of in the center like that. Then hit S to scale it down even more. There we go. We look good. You can go back to solid viewport shading like that. Hit this little button up here. Um, and then we can go ahead and go to the main tab here. Turn off viewport denoising just because. It bugs me. Um, and we're going to go to do, 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 the shape keys tab, which is this tab right here, the object data tab. And now what I want to do is, first of all, actually, well, wait, let's do one more thing. Let's go to this tab right here and then change the frame rate to 60. There we go. Then we can go back to the shape keys tab. All right, cool. So on our first frame, which is going to be zero, so make that zero. I'm going to go to the first frame, which is zero. Um, and then we're going to move this arrow out of frame. So hit GZ and move it down um, and hit I location. And then we're going to go to like frame, I don't know, 20 or something. And then put it like right in the middle. Hit I, location. Then on frame 40, move it all the way up. I, location. There we go. Cool. Now what we have is this. It just goes straight up, which is not really what I want it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make it pause. So I'm going to move the frame 40 all the way out to like frame 100. And then frame 20, I'm going to hit shift D. And then we're going to move this to like frame 50. And then I'm just going to hit G. I'm going to grab this one, hit G, and move it over maybe just a little tiny bit more like that. So now it kind of stays there. But I want I don't want it to just dead stop. Like it just stops like fully, right? It looks kind of weird, right? So what I wanted to do is I want to like smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to make this go up a little bit like that. So hit GZ and make, make it go up a little bit. Hit I location. And then because we move this, uh, it now looks like it's uh, like a little bit smoother, you know. Like it kind of stops, but it also is like a little smoother of a stop, you know, which looks really cool. So that's what we want to see right there. Very cool. Now, what I want to do is I want to make this like do cool things with the shape keys. So I want to go ahead and add in a couple of things we're going to do here. Um, we're going to actually add in a modifier subdivision surface. And now this is uh, going to cause some issues, obviously. So we have to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and on with these four vertices selected down here. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Control B to bevel these. But first, I'm actually going to grab all of these edges, uh, like like these, like that, as well. Except for these, except for the top one, 
and except for these two bottom ones we're gonna do just this, these four so I did just these four hit control B to bevel them scroll your mouse wheel up a little bit so you can see you make a, a, some more cuts so it's not just one cut just make more cuts and then just try and get that as close to the edges as possible like like that so that it's still sharp there but it does not look like it's like rounded you know what I mean so it looks like that it should look like this it's this, this like a mushroom right cool sweet so now what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this area right here and I'm going to add in some loop cuts the other way so we're going to uh, go to loop cut here and then add in a bunch of loop cuts so I'm just gonna add in some crazy loops like this and this will help us as you can see it's making loops up here and it's making loops down here as well so just add in some loop cuts just keep clicking around get a nice little thing going on there what I want to do is I want to take all these and then this one in the center I'm gonna grab this this uh, loop cut in the center here and I'm going to hit O on my keyboard to turn on uh, this little this little thing up here which is proportional editing so it moves not just the one uh, the one uh, vertice it moves multiple so there we go I can scroll my mouse wheel in and out to make it more or less so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a shape key hit tab to go out of edit mode and then double click this um, the uh, shape keys twice like that to add one key and then now you can see on the only one that says key one you're gonna grab this middle uh, vertice and then hit G and then Z to bring it down like that so it's like so it's like that so that if we if we change this value you can see it kind of does this thing where it pulls itself out which looks nice so what we're gonna do is make it look like it's whooshing um, I'm gonna keep this going until about like frame 17 and then on frame 17 I'm gonna hover my cursor over top of value hit I and then go to like frame 28 or something and then pull it all the way down hit I so now you can see it does this thing where it looks like it kind of it was bulging out and now it's like you know it comes back in which looks cool right so we can do this a couple more times with a couple of different areas in this we can do this with the top of the arrow up here as well so we can grab these two pieces hit I sorry hit S to scale them inwards and maybe bring them down a little bit but um, first actually I don't want to do it on the same key so make sure you don't do that on the same key don't do what I just did um, but what, what we can do is hit plus add in a second key we can call this one bottom I guess bottom and then we can call this one top I suppose um, so then we're gonna go and go back into edit mode hitting tab hit G Z to move them down and then S to scale them inwards Make sure you're only messing with these make sure you don't have all of this in so scroll your mouse wheel down So it's smaller. So it only affects this area We're gonna also scale these in as well make it nice and sharp like this, right? Nice and sharp There we go. I want to bring this back up though. There we go Cool, so now when we use this value, it'll do like this which looks good. So now we're gonna go ahead and on the same Maybe like on frame 15, hover my cursor over top of value, hit I, and then maybe around like frame 24-ish, we will put it, uh, well, backwards. So uh, making sure it's on zero. There we go, hover I, and then this frame is the frame we need it to be all the way up. That's my mistake. There we go. All right, cool. So now it does something like this. There we go. I think that's a little late, so we're going to move these backwards, actually. So I'm going to grab this keyframe, and I think it's this one. Yep, so these both these keyframes. Hit G. Hold on, shift to grab both of them, sorry. And then hit G to move them backwards a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think that's much better. Cool. So it's a very subtle effect. I really, really enjoy it. It looks really cool. Looks like it kind of pops out there a little bit. And we'll be, we can also add another one really quick. So I can add in um, a third keyframe, and we'll call this one, like, bulge or something. I don't know. And then it'll just like bulge out and poke out like 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 this so I'll scale my mouse wheel up a little bit and then this as well there we go so it'll like come out a little bit um, and then this will be after it like puffs out like this so on frame let's do like 22 hover my cursor over that value hit I and then on frame like I don't know 31 make it go all the way up I and it'll make it come back down put it down I there we go so that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. This does now loop if you go ahead and turn your in frame to like 70, which looks really good. So that is our like motion graphic kind of looping arrow motion thingy animation. But yes, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.